Welcome everybody, in this video you will learn how you can easily use Funimate and how you can create transitions, effects and how you can edit videos. So let's start. First I'm going to choose and find some video like this one here. You can choose video format landscape, portrait or square. I recommend going with the portrait. When you have it, now on the upper part you will have sound button that you can like Put a sound to your video, add a sound or music to your video, then you will have overlay button and then you will have export button, the last one. Now let's start. When I zoom on my timeline and when I move with my finger, I can move easily on a video. Then by pressing the square on a video, I can make it bigger. And when I have it, now let's start. The first, what you can see here is animate. When you can click on animate, you have options to create intro for your video. And as you can see, like, this is really simple. And you can even like scale it. And you can also spin it if you would like. Then you will have outro here, again, same things that you can play around with, how it's going away. It's also quite simple. You have scale, slide here, and I think like it's at stripe, which is used a lot. Yeah, okay. When you have it, the last part is custom. In custom, you can create your own keyframes. So let's say, for example, I want to zoom into my video. So what I'm going to do now that I'm going to add a keyframe, then I'm going to add another keyframe. I will click on scale. I will increase my zoom in. I will create another keyframe that until this moment, I wanted to stay on 360. And then I will create another keyframe and put it to 100 and let's see how it looks like. So now I'm going to play it, zoom in, stay and zoom in, zoom out. Really simple effect and you can do it with opacity if you want to create a fade in, fade out and you can also rotate the video and change the position with your keyframes. So this is how we can make it and this is how keyframes works. So let's continue. Then you'll have effect mix that you can add various effects like digital. What I don't really like about Funimate that many of these effects are pro that you need to buy and pay monthly to use these, but you can do it. Then you have filter again, like the filter that you can use for your video. Quite simple, all you have to do is just hold Yeah, so this is how we can add filters And then you have color, this is you can just change the color of your of your video Now when we have it, what we are going to do, we are going to click on our video And you have another options here When I'm going to click on it, I can split the video in half when I split my video in half, you will see this white square here, white button, which means transitions. And you can just insert transitions here. Many of them are really cool that you don't need to have a pro or blur. Or I like this one here, the skew. This is like really cool. And now we have transition here. When I click again, you can duplicate it or you can crop it or you can delete the video. So that's also really simple. Or just by clicking by plus, I can add another media, another videos. So now what we want to do is to click plus here in a up, right next to the my clip. When I click on plus, you have five options to add text, media, GIF, particle or shape. When I click on text, I'm going to write here like snow, I can change the font, let's say, yeah, okay. I can change also the color there and I'm going to make it like bigger now. And again, you can uh, animate it also 
or you can have the effect here see you can add effects also it's really simple and i think you completely understand how it works so this is how you can add text here now you have options also add gif if you would like or you can add particle or shape or just media i have photo here of me speaking in one company presentation and yeah so this is how you can actually make it and this is how Funimate works the last step when you finish everything is just to upload it and you can just write caption with the hashtag and publish now publish now and you have it so this is how to use Funimate thank you very much everybody for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did you can support and subscribe i'll be really thankful for it thank you have a great day and see ya goodbye